I'm James with the Full Octane Garage. If you're watching this video right now, you're watching because you want to know if that mini split can cool this garage or your garage to everyone's expectations. Stick around in this video. I'm going to give you an answer. Welcome to the Full Octane Garage. Today we're going to have an interesting experiment at the Full Octane Garage. Uh, if you look back about a year ago, I posted a video on installing a mini split system in the large garage and it has been killing it. That's been awesome. Uh, I've got some friends that have posted similar videos for their cooling solutions for their garages. Um, anywhere from putting fans in to portable air conditioning units, which I have I have a small one in the single car garage and uh, up to the mini split solution. Uh, and I've talked about how wonderful the mini split solution has been. And there's been some doubts about whether a mini split can keep up with a large garage in a 90 something degree day. So we're going to check it out. Uh, the plan is I'm going to, I have a uh, remote temperature sensor in the other garage right now that I'm just going to move and put in a large garage. Uh, we're going to check the temperature in there. I'm going to shut the thermostat off or the, shut the mini split off. And then we're going to watch the temperature on the wall behind me. That thermostat right there. Uh, Cause the uh, ambient temperature reads on this thermostat. I'm going to let that garage heat up for the next hour or so with the garage door open and no air conditioning running. We're going to get it up into the 90s, whatever it happens to settle out at. And then uh, we're going to time how long it takes for it to bring it back down and satisfy the thermostat. That should give us a pretty good idea of whether a mini split can handle a large air conditioning load, even in the heat of summer. Welcome to the full octane garage. Let's check this thing out. Alrighty, going out to the outdoor garage. Say hello to the XKRS. Where did I leave that thermometer? Hmm. That is the uh, portable air conditioning unit that I'm running in here. All right, so this is a Honeywell uh, ambient thermostat. You can just set it wherever and it will read the temperature and humidity in the area where it's at and register it on the thermostat that I have on the hallway in there. All right, going into the big garage. It's a little bit of a mess. I probably should have cleaned this up before I did this video. Got the E-Type and the uh, 911, 996. Well, you can heal, feel the cool air just hitting you right in the face. It's awesome. And uh, I guess we'll set this right back here on the workbench. How does that sound? The, uh, that way it'll be out of the direct path for the air for the Fujitsu mini split. Let's see what happens. So it's 77 in the garage. It's uh, set for 78 on the thermostat. I'm gonna turn it off. Watch the louver shut. Light goes off. Leave the garage door open. Let's, uh, let's warm this puppy up and see what it can do. Oh, now we wait. All right, the uh, thermostat is already reading two degrees warmer than it did when we just turned it off a few minutes ago. So having the garage door open is starting to have an effect. Okay, the garage is now at 98 degrees. Um, it's with the thermometers reading out there on the workbench, about four feet off the floor on the back wall. And uh, we want to cool it and we want to see how long it takes. All right, we're going to time the event using my Apple 10 telephone. Should be pretty accurate. All right, 
time to crank the mini split up and see what it can do. All right, we've got the garage door closed. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the thermostat back on and turn the temperature down to 72 degrees. And the unit should be coming on momentarily. Stopwatch and start. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're approaching 15 minutes since we shut the garage door. All right, it's 90 degrees in the garage now. It was 98 degrees 15 minutes ago. Seems to be moving along. Okay, we're at one hour since we shut the garage door and turned the system on. And we have 81 degrees. All right, we've been running for two hours. Let's see where we're at. Two hours, 76 degrees. We started at 98. So we got a 22 degree drop in two hours. As you can see, it's still 89 degrees outside. It's just after five o'clock and it's mostly sunny. Okay, uh, it's actually cold in the garage. <laughs> I would normally keep it this cool. Okay, so what's the verdict? Um, this is a two-ton heat pump, inverter style, Fujitsu mini split. Uh, the garage is about 700 square feet, 91 outside, three or four surfaces of the walls are uninsulated. Uh, the ceiling is insulated and um, ran the garage up to 98 degrees and the system brought the garage temperature down to 76 degrees in two hours and easily maintains temperature even at 100 degrees outside it totally kills it uh, so is the mini split the ideal situation for heating and cooling a garage if it's all one continuous single space i say absolutely nothing does better for dehumidifying uh, controlling the temperature and doing it efficient, uh, efficiently. This piece of equipment has no duct loss because it comes right out of the piece of equipment. It is the optimum selection for heating and cooling your garage. Hope that answers any questions. Hope it clears up uh, any concerns about whether a mini split will handle a garage, whether it be in Florida or California or in Austin, Texas, Dan. Thanks for joining us at the Fall Octane Garage. If you like our videos, uh, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you don't mind, please leave us a message down below. Leave us a comment. What are your ideas about heating and cooling your garage? What do you do? Uh, and if you've got any questions for me about application, um, cost, things of that nature. Leave those questions down below and I'll put a link in for the video that I put together about a year ago that covers the options and the installation. Thank you for joining the Fallout 10 Garage. We'll see you soon. Melissa, thanks. Hey Melissa. Hello? Stand there and everybody say hi to Scooby. Scooby's not having a good week. Learning poopy.